So what happens if you get married during your bankruptcy haze? So we'll talk about the two chapters that I deal with most of the time, which is chapter seven and chapter 13. So first, chapter seven. Well, chapter sevens are pretty fast. Usually you're in and out of a chapter seven case in about four, mo or four months, excuse me. So is, you know, if you're gonna get married uh, and you've, you've filed bankruptcy as a single person, I would tell you just wait till you're out of your chapter seven to get married. I mean, it's not that long um, because if you do, then we have to then um, take into account and we have to amend your schedules to reflect your new household income. And that may um, knock you out of qualifying. So you need to do a little pre-planning um, with your bankruptcy attorney in terms of, you know, if if you've got these big wedding plans and, and you know, you, you don't want to involve that person, I would say file bankruptcy before you get married, before you combine households and debts and what whatnot, um, that will be easier in a seven. Now, chapter 13 is a totally different story. Chapter 13 bankruptcies can go on for years. They usually do. Typically, 60 months is the regular repayment term because it gives the lowest payment for chapter 13 cases. And a lot can happen in five years. Um, you can get married and you can get divorced. Now I have a separate video on divorce and how that affects your case, but let's talk about um, if you get married during your case. So if you get married during your bankruptcy case, we do need to amend your schedules, that's schedules I and J, to reflect your new household size. Now, this also includes your new spouse's income, but also their expenses. So it's not like it's only just the income that's getting dumped on you, of course. Um, I'm sure your spouse had a life before you. They have bills before you. So they probably have credit, their own credit card payments. They probably have their own car payments, things like that. So um, make sure that you get with your attorney so that we can take a look and we can, we can update your schedules because this is what's gonna happen. Every year you have to file, um, you have to file a tax return with, with the trustee's office. So even if you file separately from your spouse, you're still gonna have to reflect if you're married on your tax return. So you don't wanna get to the end of your case and then the trustee turns around and goes, oh, by the way, uh, I need to see the spouse, you, you got married, I need to see the spouse's income or their tax returns to see you know, if your income changed. Because if you all of a sudden have all this extra money coming into your case, well, per the bankruptcy code, that extra money, which we call disposable income, that extra money has to be paid into your bankruptcy case. So we have to know about that. So if you're gonna get married, um, definitely talk with your attorney um, to see how that is gonna affect your case and how that's gonna affect how much you have to repay. It may not, it may not have any effect whatsoever on your payment, but legally, you are required to report any changes of, to your income to the bankruptcy court. So you don't want to just think you're going to get one over on the bankruptcy court because you're not. And I will tell you a, one horror story quickly. Um, there were there were there were clients a client that did just that. Got married after like his second year in bankruptcy, and his spouse was making like four times the amount of money he did. I mean, it was a lot, um, and. The trustee didn't say anything until the end of the case because nobody reported it, no one reported it to our office till the very end of the case. And then the trustee asked for the spouse's income from information, whatnot. And maybe there was like three months left and this person was looking at making like a $50,000 payment for all the debt that he didn't repay that he was supposed to repay because he had all this extra money coming into his household. And needless to say, his case just got dismissed. Um, so not a happy ending for him, but again, you know, the trustee tells you at your hearing, we tell you, we remind you, if you have any changes, any changes in household income, um, we have to know about that. Um, and there's a reason because bankruptcy has to be fair to all parties. It's not fair if one person is making, you know, maybe they only make a thousand dollars a month, but their spouse is making $10,000 a month that the, that, that the, the spouse isn't helping with the repayment of the bills. Um, and yes, I know a lot of spouses get pissed off about that, but you know, oh, that's marriage. So anywho, <laughs> if you are married, yes, 
your spouse's information um, is going to have to come into a case even after you file. It's not just one snapshot when you file and then you're safe. That's not how it works. So just talk to your attorney. Um, and even, you know, <laughs> I've had folks call me and say, well, I'm thinking about getting married, but I want you to run the numbers. And, um, you know, I, I don't know what they decide later, but I just have to tell them, well, if you do, this is what you're looking at. So just keep that in mind um, because, yes, if you get married while you're in bankruptcy, it will have an effect on your case. If you have any questions about bankruptcy, at least here in Georgia, feel free to contact me. My information is in the description below. Thanks.